Hey guys, Hitman89 here. I hope everybody's fine and not bored to death. But if you are, then you've come to the right place. Because today, I'm going to show you 10 adventure games you should play in 2020. Before we get started, this top 10 is in no particular order. And just like the rest of my top 10s, it's subjective. So keep that in mind. And without further ado, let's start with the first game. I wanted to start with Ori and the Will of the Wisps because I think it didn't get the attention it deserves. Probably because it sucks. Nah, just kidding. Actually, it's one of the most beautiful 2D games ever. And the music is amazing too. Gameplay-wise, you have tons of abilities to unlock and upgrade. So if you're into platform, adventure, metroidvania games, Ori and the Will of the Wisps is a must-have. At number 2, we have A Plague Tale Innocence. Even though it's made by a small studio, The Plague Tale is one of the best games that came out last year. I mean, okay, it's got shitty AI, like for real, it's fucking terrible, especially for a game that relies on stealth so much, I don't know what the devs were thinking. But apart from that, it's got something special, swarms of rats. And for some reason, these rats are afraid of light. And since you also have to deal with Inquisition soldiers, you can take out their torches and watch them get gangbanged by rats. So on this extremely linear game, you'll be solving basic puzzles and you'll also have to take care of your useless brother. Now that's how you make people want to try this game out. Anyways, the third game I want to show you is a story-driven open-world zombie survival game. Days Gone's got some great graphics, impressive hordes, tons of zombies on screen, you get to choose your approach, stealth or guns blazing, and it's got an interesting story. Well, for the most part at least. It's definitely not as good as some other PS4 exclusives, but it's still a good game and that's why it's on my list. Most bugs have been fixed by now, so even if you played it when it first came out, and the bugs kinda ruined your experience, you should reconsider Days Gone in 2020. Moving on to another open world game, but this one has way less action cause Death Stranding is like a sci-fi series where you don't know what the fuck is going on. And I mean it, cause you're gonna be watching tons of cutscenes. Now Death Stranding is a divisive game, cause some people see it as a unique adventure game with a deep message and blah blah blah, and some other people see it as a boring delivery guy simulator where you can grow mushrooms with your piss. So let me just show you a much better game, cause at number 5 we have Left Alive, one of the best action adventure games of... <laughs> just kidding, that shit is fucking horrible. So the real number 5 here is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and even if you're not a Star Wars fan, Hear me out, I wasn't even gonna play this game at first cause I'm not into Star Wars like at all, but turns out the game is great. Take Uncharted 4 and Dark Souls, put them in the Star Wars universe and you'll have Jedi Fallen Order. Now keep in mind it's poorly optimized, so don't say I didn't warn ya. And speaking of poor optimization, the sixth game on my list is Control. Apart from having great graphics, Control has some awesome physics. You can pretty much destroy anything on this game and it's so much fun. Sometimes I forget about my objectives just cause I'm too busy destroying everything around me. The only issue I have with the game is that it runs like shit on my PC. But apart from that, this is one of the best adventure games of 2019. And it's got a new DLC in March called The Foundation. So if you haven't played Control yet, you definitely should. At number 7 we have God of War aka Boy. God of War was released on PS4 in 2018 and it came to PS now last year so you can play it on PC as well if you have decent internet. As you can see the graphics are still great, the story and gameplay are amazing too and that's probably why God of War is one of my favorite games of this console generation. By the way 2018 was a pretty damn good year for gaming cause that's also when we had Red Dead Redemption 2 on console. I usually don't pre-order games, but I pre-ordered Red Dead Redemption 2 and let me tell you something, I wasn't disappointed at all. I thought the story was great, amazing graphics, insane attention to detail, long story short, Red Dead Redemption 2 has it all. Now keep in mind it's for people who are into slow paced, story based games, so if you're mostly into Fortnite, then you'd probably think RDR2 is boring as fuck. To each their own, I guess. But even though I finished the game two years ago, I still come back to it every now and then to see how many people I can kill without getting caught. You know, the usual stuff sick people do, I guess. Now at number 9 we have a completely different game, cause Arise a simple story starts with the main character's death and goes back on his life through different worlds. Each world represents a moment in your character's life. The game is beautiful, poetic, unique, great for kids and for adults too. So you control time to progress through levels and most importantly the game manages to tell you a story without any dialogue, which is not an easy task, but this game might make you cry, just saying. Last but certainly not least, at number 10 we're gonna be looking at Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. 
If you're really good at Dark Souls and those kind of games, if you're patient and you're willing to try over and over again until you beat that one boss that's blocking your progress, in my case it's the very first boss, but hey, shit happens, okay? What I'm trying to say is, make sure you can handle this game before you buy it. You know, you don't want to waste your money on a game that you'll only play for an hour until you give up and start contemplating suicide. And that's gonna be it for my top 10 adventure games you should play in 2020. I did my best to pick all kinds of adventure games to make sure everyone finds something they like. So if this video made you wanna try a couple of games, don't forget to give it a like. Special thanks to buygames.ps for providing me with the PS4 games you saw in this video. If you don't know about buygames.ps, it's a website that sells Xbox One and PS4 games for cheap, so check them out. By the way, if you're new to the channel, you might want to subscribe, you know, I make game reviews and top 10 videos just like this one. So check them out, I guess. Anyways, it's been Hitman89, see you guys very soon.